Okay, this time we're going to talk to you a little bit about how everyone's lying to you about VPNs. And it really frustrates me, um, all the YouTubers that are out there that are spreading all sorts of crazy information about VPNs, like they'll protect you completely from hackers. Um, anyway, so let's get into it. First, <clears throat> I do not have a VPN going right now. I'm going to go to this test site, this privacy net test site, and I'm going to start this test. And if you see here, the first thing it's going to do is check and it found my IP address right off the bat. Okay. Uh, and then autofill leak test. And there's nothing here, although it does want me to log into my dash lane. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, user account tests. It knows I'm logged into Gmail and YouTube. The fact that it knows I'm logged into Gmail and YouTube, they could get, uh, if this was, uh, this was say, a government that's upset with you. They could reach out to those companies and get information based upon the information they got here and identify who you are. Okay. So that's a problem. I've logged in to these sites. Okay. Browser capability test. This just kind of gives some information about my browser, but the more important one is this fingerprint analysis. Okay. So we're going to begin this fingerprint analysis. So we see we have this right here, but the main thing is down here. Sorry, this stuff right here, percentage. So the fact that I'm using a Hawaii time zone and running Linux is really bad, okay? Anything that's a, a small number here helps identify who I am, but everything here helps identify who I am. So this is based upon um, on information that just my browser gives, okay? So now let's start a VPN. Um, so by the way, set dash OVI lets me search back through my history. Hot spot. Um, we want to start. And if we look at stock, oh, sheesh, hot spot. No, let's just hot spot shield status. That's why I like to use things to my history so I don't mistype them. So I'm the VPN client's running, but I'm not connected. So I need to um, hot spot shield connect and we'll do the Netherlands. I Oh, I need to sign in. I'm going to pause the video while I sign in. Okay, I've logged in, so I should now be able to um, connect. We're going to connect to the Netherlands, a place I like, so I can see the status. And so if I come here, and I'm going to leave this one up, okay, this fingerprint analysis, we can look at this. And we're just going to go to this page again. So this is with the VPN. Let's go right to the analyzer, start the test. So it has an IP address. Okay. Autofill leak test. So that's still, uh, I mean, <laughs> shoot, I'll have to blow that out. Uh, user account test. So it still knows I'm logged in even with a VPN. So right there, I know. And if you, so there's still a lot of information here. Fingerprint analysis. This is the main thing. Look here. It still knows I'm Hawaii, still knows Linux version. So yeah, VPNs don't hide you as much as you think they do. Um, now let's bring up Tor. So Tor is a little different. So if we go to the privacy.net analyzer, privacy.net 
analyzer. See if that works. So now if I start the test, first of all, this is different. So uh, by the way, look, the IP address, this is getting an IPv4 versus an IPv6 uh, on the on the basic info right here. Okay, back to Tor. Auto leak. So I don't, yeah. So that's even protected from my dash lane. User account test. Doesn't know why I'm logged in. Got to, this is a different browser and it clears things. Okay. Browser compatibility test. So it has some information there. Fingerprint analysis. So we still have, um, it knows my OS, but it changes uh, the observed browser to UPC, uh, UTC zero. Okay. So it takes out one of the things, but besides that, it's still a lot of information here. Now, if I log in to a site with Tor, then I've logged in, they'll know who I am. Um, so yeah, a VPN doesn't protect you as much as people say, say it does. Tor can help a little bit more, but honestly, um, it's really hard in this day and age to be anonymous online. Um, the moment you log in, you're not anonymous, uh, especially if it's tied back to any personal identifiable information. Um, VPNs don't protect you from the main things hackers do, which is phishing. Um, they don't even protect you from a local attack from a hacker. It does protect your data going out from being easily sniffed by a hacker. Um, so th there are some benefits, but not much, not many, not many at all. Um, so yeah, it's not the, the tool that people say it is. Now, um, I want to introduce you to another YouTuber, much be more, uh, better detailed content in this than I have. Uh, it's all things secured. Um, and they mentioned that, yeah, don't use a VPN. It's not the ultimate security fix you've been told. They'll kind of actually show some of the YouTubers that have been promoting this. Uh, but uh, so this is the, the person there with all things secured, Josh Summer, Summers. Um, oh, we're going to get to this one last. Um, so he tested 11 VPNs for 30 days and ranked them. Now, he did not test the one I'm using, um, but I'll get to why. Um, uh, I actually pay more than I should. For it but it's because of um a different benefit i get from it uh it talks about tor vpn goes into a little more detail so how tor works uh in the how it keeps you a little more anonymous um but it doesn't keep you anonymous so the main thing it can protect you from local eyes um so uh, uh he talks about some legitimate uses for it be careful because a legitimate use that uh he mentions and other YouTubers mentions is uh, changing your location so you can get to content that's not allowed in your area. For example, if you use Netflix, uh, you might not be able to watch something where you're at, but if you change it to another country, then it is available. Uh, that's probably not ethical. Uh, look at your user agreement. There's probably something in there and there's a reason why Netflix often blocks VPNs. Um, okay. And the last one is, and I'm covering this just because the VPN I use is Hotspot Shield, and I use it because I get it with my password manager. Um, LastPass, uh, I people have talked to me about going to LastPass over and over again, and every time I think, yeah, I should. Most people are using LastPass. Another breach happens. LastPass has had tons of them, so people are starting to migrate off because. It's scary how many breaches they've had. Um, and I use Dashlane. So Dashlane uh, Premium comes with a VPN. So that's the VPN I use. Uh, or if I'm helping a client, they might have their own VPN that they need to use. Anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. A lot of content here. I will link to all this down below. Have a good day.